Waterproofing plaster with Resine X200 waterproofing membrane. If repainting, treat moss and mould using Resine Moss and Mould Killer. Wash and scrub using Resine Paint Prep and House Wash to dechalk and remove any contaminants including mould residue. If needed, seal and prime cracks and bare areas with Resine Sure Seal or Resine Concrete Primer if all salts have been washed out of crevices and cracks. Stir the paint thoroughly using a flat bladed stirrer and decant from larger pails into smaller, more manageable containers. The key to a top quality finish is to use a 25mm lambswool roller, a short extension handle and a good quality brush. If hot and dry or very windy, add hot weather additive to improve X200's flow and prevent it drying too quickly. When painting exterior plaster and concrete walls, it's important to plan your approach. Start at the top of the wall and work down and across it. Start by brushing X200 into any cracks or voids. Brush across rather than down the crack. Any cracks larger than one millimeter will need to be filled with resin brushable crack filler or a gunnable sealant. Now cut in around the edges and any areas where the roller will not reach, for example around downpipes. The painter is using a 75mm legend brush. Note how he holds the brush. This gives him greater control and is less tiring. He'll also adjust his grip and the angle of the brush as he cuts in along the base of the wall. Add about one to one and a half litres of X200 to the roller tray and carefully load the roller up with the X200. Lay the roller against the wall and roll in an upwards direction. Typically, the roller will skid rather than rotate at first until it gains traction. Aim to complete a half to three quarters of a square metre with each roller load. It's important to force enough X200 into any holes and cracks to waterproof the wall. This will not happen if there is insufficient pressure applied or if the angle of the extension handle is too acute or it's held too far down its length. Once you have completed a section of the wall, lay off from the top to the bottom. Once dry, usually after three to four hours, apply a second coat. Try not to paint too late in the day to avoid dew settling and marking the paint. If access to the painted areas is straightforward and little preparation is needed, then painting concrete and plaster and most exterior surfaces is simple and easy, with many commenting that they have felt a real sense of achievement after finishing. The results will be impressive and will significantly improve the look of your home. Good luck.